Kayla, please like and subscribe. I love watching Holly dance. That's funny. The problem is, though, <laughs> we can't even do a blooper reel of it because it, it's not recording her right, dancing. Right, because we're not. That's, that's, yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't care. That you guys sucks. can I'm going to have my camera. phone out like oh, this. Yeah, like, we should. We have another camera. Yeah, just for that, and we'll just have a Holly dance video. Oh, yeah, a <laughs> compilation. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said it out loud because oh. now she's going to know. <laughs> we won't really right. do that. We're so, just joking. Yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly this week. We have one for each category, but we're not going to spend yeah. much time on the good, and we're not going to spend much time on the bad, because I'm in a mood, and maybe it's because I got stung by something. I don't know, but I'm going to spend more time on the ugly. So, right. the good this week. There were some positive things happening with crypto, a little bit of positive movement here and there, but I think the biggest thing to come out of in the news is that China now is going to start trading what was it? cryptos as of yesterday, June 1st. Yeah, China. June 1st. But I have a question so for you can guys. I okay, go. Cool. Okay, I would just have a question. I don't know the answer to this. I just want your guys' thoughts. Okay. okay. So when China stopped allowing their people to trade cryptos, do you think everybody sold before that happened? Or do you think certain people hung on to cryptos? I think, I think certain people hung on. Yeah, I think they yeah. Well, I mean, depending on what crypto it was, like Bitcoin, they held on. So, they didn't sell that. So here's my well, thought process, because I think everybody thought Hey, the market opens up in China. Green candles for everything, right? Right. But how many of those people got so burned before that maybe they're selling and not buying right now? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Absolutely. there hasn't been much, much price yeah. movement on anything, except Bitcoin yeah. did go down a little bit yesterday. So like to your point, Ollie, I kind of wonder uh, where those sales were at, but I think within you let that even out, give it a week or so. I think that that's going to be a very good thing for the market. Mm -hmm. It's just my pro my thought process. Yeah. What were you going to say about that? So, I feel like this is maybe the third time, at, at least the second time that China that I know of that China has like stopped trading crypto yeah. and mm -hmm. introduced it again. Like, I feel like this happened the last bull run in 21 yeah yeah the same exact thing happened so i wonder if it's like okay this is the start or very close to the bull run because china's opening it back up because they i remember when they opened it like when i first started getting in crypto it was a big thing because china is now allowing allowing you to trade and then i remember when china said oh no we're shutting it down like so i Which feel like this is thing and it kind of coincided with the charts not moving as much as they did before i mean yeah. there's a lot of money yeah. in yeah. china um i think somebody said it's hong kong fun. has yeah is second to dubai maybe with the hmm. percent of mil or billionaires that live there but when it comes to like the number one city with billionaires mm -hmm. hong kong is it because they have more of them than Dubai does. But percent population, I think they're second only to um, Dubai, somewhere mm -hmm. along those lines. No, don't quote me on that, but I'm with you. I, that's kind of why I think that it's probably the start or the beginning maybe because of I think you're going to see some sales because if I was a Chinese citizen, I would probably be going, okay, when are you going to kill it again? When am I not going to be able to invest? So I'm going to get some of my money out and then see what you guys do and then go, okay, I'm going to get back in. I don't know. What do yeah. you guys think? I concur. <laughs> <laughs> I concur, yes. Well, We're I, talking I about conspiracy theories, so Greg doesn't have anything well, to say. Yeah. I think, I think yeah, the bull run's coming. So. you have a prediction on when? I, I honestly think about six months. You think in six months? I, that I do. All right. I, I like it. <laughs> Gosh, Next year, like know. the beginning of 2024. Yeah, I actually do think we're going to see some like heavy December. signs of it. Yeah. I would say in the fall. I think when you get to be so? about four to six months before Bitcoin halves, you're going to start seeing a lot of price movement. And once the halving happens, I think we're going to be smack dab in the middle of that thing. 
and I think we'll be probably pretty good for three to four more months after that. Maybe not quite through that next summer, but I hope to be making a lot of moves between now and then. It'll be good. Yeah. So yeah, of course the XRP stuff. That'll. Mm-hmm. I think I'm, like so. I was gonna tell you guys. I feel like that needs to be a special. We need to talk about XRP. We really probably ought to do that someday. Is maybe throw out a Thursday night thing and just it all be about XRP because there's a lot of stuff there. And 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 I'll be honest with you. When we talk about crypto, sometimes I don't want to keep repeating the same things. Yeah. But I'm super stoked about XRP and very very bullish about it. Yeah, I think that will start I'm a bull run. So- bullish that i feel like i don't have enough well yeah and so that is where all of my money all of my profits from others if i have any are going you guys is xrp because i want to be that person that you know gets there sooner than later so (laughs) i want to make my money on xrp and still have my all my other investments absolutely that's where i would love to be Mm -hmm. but i actually had that conversation with my wife last night we've got some personal investments and some other things and one of them we're looking at selling and i said if this goes through which could be in the next two to three weeks my plan is to buy twenty thousand xrp with part of the proceeds and she goes, this is why part of the reason I love my wife. She goes, yeah, sounds good to me. I don't know anything about that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't even That's care. Some, She's like, we'll put like the rest her. of it in the bank. I was like, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm looking at when it comes to that. We should do a special on XRP. Maybe right. comment on this video if you think, if that's something you would like to see. Because that yeah. would take a lot of effort. And I want to make sure people actually want to watch that. But yeah. Yeah, That'd be fun. I think, yeah, I think it's a big deal. Okay, that's fun. that's the bull run starter, I think. So I'm going to spend even deal. less time on the bad. Okay. What's the bad? The United States dragging their feet. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of oh the God, ruling being dragged on. I'm tired of them not putting out any regulations, not giving anybody any guidelines. Where I've yeah. said it before, we should be the leader in blockchain technology, and we are not. And it's stupid. No. And if China does some of the things that they're talking about doing, we're gonna fall further and further behind of some of these other countries and then be playing catch up. And I feel like when the United States tries to play catch up, that's when they make a lot of mistakes and they don't do it very well. When they're leading, I feel like there's no country in the world better in leading than we are. But when we try to play catch up, it's usually not good. Mm. So that's the bad. I agree with that. It sucks. I'm tired of talking about it, but after seeing the moves other people are making, and then the rumors that the XRP settlement may not even be until July now, it's just driving me insane. Just come oh, out. I, I, I just read this morning. I thought that it was June. Late June, yeah. And the, but most people said that you can add about three to four weeks to whatever is coming out. <laughs> of course, uh, so, of course. So. And that's kind of been the game plan. So when I read that, I was like, you know what? That actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. Every time they say they're going to do something, it's usually three or four weeks later it actually happens. Plus, not to step on your conspiracy theories Uh-oh. segment, yeah, I on feel on. like they're that's giving the banks longer to yeah. start to stock up. That's why I honestly would be in yeah. a position of keeping your eyes on XRP. And if it's continually going up 3% a day, you better get in, yeah. yeah, because that means somebody's stocking up on it. Yeah, I think that hundred percent. And when the gigantic institutional money buys show up, it's not that it's going to be too late, but you're not going to see fifty cent uh, XRP anymore. Mm-mm. You're just not. Oh, no, so that's why I want to get like more right now because I I truly think. Look, well, so coming. let's let's since the bad kind of sucks. Let's speculate for a second. Yeah. Where do you okay. think XRP will be in the fall, <laughs> price wise? Price wise, Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna say like a dollar thirty. Okay, what do you guys think? A dollar thirty in the fall. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say around thirty bucks. Wow. What? Really? Thirty? Yeah. So Greg doesn't know what he's talking about, but. No, <laughs> I'm like I really don't hey, have hey. enough. Then. <laughs> I, no, I honestly. I was thinking a dollar. You kind of hit mine, Holly. I was thinking a dollar fifty. Okay, where do you think it'll be in the spring? Let's say April 1st. 200. Yeah, well, I want to know Craig's first. <laughs> um, I'm going to go around the 5 $6 range. Okay. 
What do you think? I would agree with that. Five bucks. So, I'm going a little bit more aggressive with that. I think it's going to be around the $25, $30 range in the spring. I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my yeah. yeah, I'm <laughs> being very conservative just based off of like my analysis of the market recently. Agreed. Um, Because I've really been looking into kind of everything. So, I'm being very conservative, but I hope it's 20 to 30 dollars like that would be but if it yeah. if it triples from what <laughs> no. it is now to this yeah. to the fall what do you think the fomo is going to start being like that's kind of what i'm looking at there's going to be a lot of fomo buys in there that i think is going to push to like five bucks pretty fast once it hits like a dollar fifty yeah you might and then right. i think it'll right. i think with the bitcoin having and the way the market will shape up in the spring i think xrp is going to be one of those that keeps going up that's why i'm saying that 20 to 30 dollar range yeah. hmm. how long do you think you can't answer this because you already have how long do you think that it'll be in the bnb range around that 300 hundred dollar mark a year you think it'll be next spring <laughs> <laughs> a year from no, now no i think like no i i guess that would for be a me, huge a jump from, from april 1st to then yeah no i think by 2025 the beginning of 2025 like i'm just taking into consideration of or 2024 sorry yeah why did i think that we're 2023 or 2024 right now well no no i'm thinking it would be 2025 yeah 2025 yeah yeah so i do think that it's a year and a half from now well a year and a half yeah yes okay what do you think so like I think there is a small, small <laughs> chance that it'll hit that BNB range price. Yeah. yeah. This time next year. Yeah. So I, that would mean that I'm saying it's going to go from like thirty bucks April first to like three hundred dollars by Juneish yeah. of 2024. Yeah. But I think there's a small chance. I'll call it ten percent chance. But I don't know. I think you're looking probably. It kind of depends on how long the bull market runs, and it also depends on if the banks actually start using it yeah so i would say going to. i'm telling you guys they're going to total speculation i would say fall of 24. you want to know what i really think no what I do really you think don't. Greg? thank I, you Caleb. i, I want to know Holly, do you want to know <laughs> okay yes. i want to know i i think you're not going to want to cash it out any crypto no because the us dollar won't be worth crap <laughs> By when? What's crap now? By Shit. fall. By this fall? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure. So, like, I don't... I'm just going to mark this podcast. Dollar. And I'm going to put a star in the headline of it so I, I can go back to predictions. It'll be worth 300 U.S. dollars, but 300 U.S. dollars will be like, I mean, yeah. not worth nothing. You think so? You think that's I what's going to happen? I really do. See, my problem with that is the fact that you... If it's worth nothing, then everyone has to be able to spend their crypto. On, and nobody, you can't do that. And only like 1% of the population is even bought into crypto. Yeah. So like I told it's gonna you, be crazy. there's going to be a lot of angry, hungry people yes. knocking on your yeah. door. Yeah. There will be. And you don't have enough bullets. Because <laughs> hungry people will do crazy it's things. It's going to change. It's going to change. That, that does scare me. Yeah. Yeah. It'll change. So I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong too. Okay. Let's get to the <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Because this segment's lasted way longer. I jokingly Sorry. said I was getting ahead. I was jokingly saying that we do this podcast in thirty minutes, and this segment may end up being thirty <laughs> minutes. Right. I was going to say if you were recording it and freak you oh, out. Oh shit! But I yeah, I am. <laughs> but, the ugly. Mm. We have to spend some time talking about Dairy Queen burned down. It did. What? Dairy oh yeah, Dairy Queen did burn down in in our town. In town, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I was gonna get a blizzard after the podcast that, last week and it burnt down. Yes, that day I was driving and I was gonna stop by. It All right, so the real, so ugly, went, the real <laughs> ugly, the real ugly, is Ben Eth, yeah. Psyop, Loyal, some Orange Square NFT, some Orange Square. Yeah. One, I would love for that dude to come on here and explain to me what's going on. Yeah. For the record, we actually reached out to him and asked him to come on and explain to us what's going on. 
my opinion yeah. on the fact is I don't think he thinks we have enough followers, so he doesn't want to talk to us. Sure. That's why he associates uh, that's 100%. himself. That's hundred percent it. Yeah, and I'm not mad about that. Okay, that's fine. That's not where this is coming from, but I do think that's why he associates himself with people like Bitboy. Um, but what in the heck is going on there? First off, first things, it started with, here's my wallet address, send me ETH and I'll give you tokens. What? <laughs> Who does that? A little sketchy. How many copycats <laughs> have we seen of that? Yeah. I mean, I am seeing people throwing their, their ETH address out there going, hey, I'm gonna launch a token, send me. And jokingly, <laughs> people going, I'm quitting my job and just gonna beg people for ETH on Twitter. <laughs> So, yeah, if you so then the PSYOP <laughs> launches, and maybe I'm missing a step or two in here, okay? This is not for historical accuracy, all right? But it's been going on for a while. I've been biting my tongue for a while. So then PSYOP launches, and it doesn't go real smoothly, and some of it goes out, some of it doesn't. And I think at this point, Holly, correct me if I'm wrong, all PSYOP is out now. Is that right? Yeah, all the airdrops mm -hmm. have happened, okay? So hurt. then within days, now it's this loyal token, if I'm not missing one. Oh, well, I guess there was a Ben token too before this. So you're gonna get rewards. Yeah, Sia Polters got Ben token got ben as token. well, and we got like five. Which, how much uh, is Ben token worth? I don't know, but I Three seriously, I got like maybe? $10 worth. It was it was not worth the hold. Um, yeah, it yeah. never oh, is. Don't even get is it ever though, On it, let's be honest. No. Is it ever worth the whole? No. No. Okay, well, no. that's all I'm going to say I, about that. Um, I, before I say bad things and hurt people's feelings, <laughs> I don't want to hurt their feelings uh -oh. on. So then it's, okay, so we get our PSYOP. Well, I say we. I'm not invested in this just for being yeah. transparent. Yeah, Holly is, and we'll talk. We're going to get into that a little bit. Um, yeah. So then it is, there's that drop. And then within days, hey, we're launching this loyal token. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what's it going to do? Well, test your to loyalty. Show that, yeah, we're going to test your loyalty to show that you're loyal. You're going to get more airdrops, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then a tweet has to come out to say, the whole point of this is not to sell your PSYOP tokens to buy loyal. It's not to sell your BIN tokens to <laughs> buy loyal because that's what people were doing. Yeah. It's to get yeah. new money into the project. Well, of course it is. Rugged. Here in Missouri, they call that fishing. Well, and I'm not even saying that it's going to be rugged, right? But nobody wants you to sell this token that they own to buy this token that they own yeah. and then sell either one of these to buy this token that they own. That's not what they want. They want more money into each one of them, which is yeah. also why it's really dumb that you would launch it that close together. I say dumb. Listen, I'm not even mad at the guy. Whatever. Right. I have no skin in the game. But it just rubs me the wrong way. Well, to... not only that. Go ahead. There's still talk. There's been talks. I I mean I haven't really paid too too much attention within the last couple of days because this whole thing is moving very fast. Like so, you miss a day, on you purpose, feel like you missed a month. Yeah. In my opinion, on purpose, moving very fast. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's they are doing it on purpose. Um, but there's also they talked about a finale coin. There was that, and then there's another one called Dave. Dave. Yeah. Yes. But and Ben's not Dave, he said. What? Thanks for the clarification. Why is he promoting it? Why? Like, I just, this is like so reckless. All of it is reckless. Yes, I've been reckless, but it's my money. I've seen it through, but I've seen enough. Like, mm. I'm done. I'm not investing in any more that he's putting out. But um, I got to experience the PSYOP. Uh, and if you hold loyal... You also get airdropped so, more psyops. I, I, it's like a whole. It's like BBTF to me. Like that's like the whole premise around it feels like reflections of something else. BBT. Like it's just like BBTF. I feel like. Yeah, I, and I think that's probably like, where the idea came from. Yeah. Without the utility, yeah. and don't forget, yeah. you can have an awesome orange square NFT. Oh yeah, but what if they came out with a comeback coin? Oh Lord! Would you? It's gonna come back. Hey, people you, will buy it. I know, right? People I just keep thinking it. about like, all these tokens, yes. and and I understand because I've got some money in 
like Tiger in you and Pepe AI, AI just because it was it's like playing a slot machine to me. Let's see yeah. what happens. Yeah. And yeah. the Tiger in you thing actually yeah. worked out hey, pretty yeah, well for me. Tiger. Hey. Mine, so mine was called Tiger or B and B Tiger. Yes. And Same so thing, and Greg, I think, I think yes. you told me. Yeah. yeah. And I put four dollars in there and yesterday or the day before when I looked it was worth 170 bucks. Yeah. yeah. It's gone up 130 percent since that. It took a little yeah. bit of yeah, a dive I mean, yesterday like, afternoon, but it's but see that's hey. fun stuff, right? Right. How much ETH did yeah. Ben get sent to his personal wallet? I can't remember the but Seven, it was nine it was nine point five million dollars. Yeah, it was almost ten million dollars, right? I'll post my yeah. wallet address here. That is not having fun money. No. That is people that's, putting some serious money really. out there. Because, and then I, I guess to go back, step, take a step back so I don't get my brain too fired up here. <laughs> then you're going to get an orange NFT, which is supposed to get you like more rewards. Yeah. But when are people going to realize that if you put $10,000 into something, I, you know what, let's use real numbers. You put $500 into something, because mm -hmm. you were very open about that last week or two weeks ago. Plus, you got yeah. $5 in in reward basically yeah it's not worth it absolutely you know? not and and so many people yeah. are trying to use that and launch this but i'm telling you from day one and i'm not even saying the dude's gonna rub because i don't know him i it just gives me a bad feeling mm -hmm. that well, and I probably well, but it's like here's my wallet address that's what you're gonna do you're not going anywhere to buy them right i mean i feel yeah. like people are lucky that he even launched it yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah to be honest with you he, he didn't have to. Yeah. I mean, he could have got sued, but I. The whole thing to me is just. Where does giving, he live? He's not docs. Nobody no. knows who he is. So and, good luck suing. Like. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. It's and if you have nine point nine million dollars, you can hide pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I can hide pretty good on a hundred bucks. Yeah. But for nine point yeah. nine million dollars. Yeah. You never see me. I mean, I'd be gone. Gosh. The whole thing yeah. just. I hope it works out for everyone. Right. I really do. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a product drop today. Uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's see it. I will be the first one to come on here and go, I was wrong. I'm an idiot. I should have bought in. But we could have a whole segment on that. No, we, you're not going to. No. <laughs> but I, don't... I, I honestly, like, even though I have invested in PSYOP and Loyal, I'm completely out of PSYOP now. Um, I actually... I was watching the chart like crazy and I saw what they were doing. I watched wallets, I tracked wallets, like I saw exactly what they're doing. Um, and so I chose at 2X, at one point I was 4X on PSYOP. And my, you know, I, I guess I got greedy. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't sell at that point, but I didn't. But as I'm watching the chart, I saw it just go down and down. And at 2X, I decided I at least made my money back plus, you know, the double it. And I took it out because I was tired of watching the, the chart manipulation. I just, it was not fun for me anymore. And so I got out of it. And then I decided to put half of that into Loyal. Loyal was a shit show from the jump. Like, come, I know PSYOP was too, but I don't see Loyal ever recovering. No. Um, hmm. We didn't get Not our tokens. Not without manipulation. Not without more loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> Greg. Um, <laughs> no, the so <laughs> they launched Loyal and us pre-sell, you know, that sent him money, we didn't get anything at all for like several hours after launch. And then when we did get our money or our tokens, it was 25% of what we should have got. There was this whole debacle between Ben and BitBoy. Um, and they were at odds with each other because BitBoy was like, give all of the pre-sellers all their money, like all their tokens all at once. And Ben wanted to do 25%, 50%, 25% or something like that. Um, but he chose to just give a hundred, you know, a hundred percent of the value of in tokens yesterday sometime. And that like, if you look at the chart, we're down so bad on yeah. it's way, I mean, it was below launch price. I mean, below pre-sale price, according to the tokens we got. 
like honestly the lesson that i have learned with this is i will never send somebody tokens to their personal address yeah. um to get pre-sell um and number two the reason i won't do that is because i don't know what the value of the pre-sale was even supposed to be right so to me it's like oh do this, the math. this much this person gets this but i think it was a toss-up of who got what i don't think there was math behind what everybody got buddies all got their tokens before the others like and those buddies are the ones that freaking dumped that chart yeah, or influencers. Story. If anybody wants to prove me wrong, please do. But I would love, I would love to get proved love wrong it on this too, program because mm. I, I mean, I've done. You guys, I have researched this and watched and like literally, because I wanted to see what they were doing. These, you know, all these influencers coming out and making these stupid meme coins. Who is benefiting from them? Just the people the creating them. Influencers and their friends. Yeah, like. I, yeah, like I, I won't do it again. I'm done loyal. I'm going to write it out to see if maybe I'll get some of my money back. Cause my $500 is down to $200. And so, yeah. I mean, honestly, like in these bigger meme coins, I have gotten pretty wrecked. I've, I would say I've lost more this meme season than I've lost this entire time I've been in crypto. Really? Yeah. Hmm. When not me. these, <laughs> yeah, it's not even a matter, you guys. Of I held too long, I couldn't get out fast enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the problem. Really what it is, and so if you don't have time to sit there, you know, and watch the chart continuously, and you don't have a bot that can do it for you, I say stay out because it's too fast of a movement. the The pump is fast, the dump is even faster. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because yeah, most people I, see that dump starting to happen and they don't even care if it's a loss. They're still selling. They just, even without bots, are like, oh, I'm out, I'm out. And, and that's where, mm. yeah. And that's where I'm like, at this point, I'm already down. You guys, it's not money that I'm missing. It really isn't. It like doesn't hurt me at all. It sucks. Who likes to lose money? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but who likes to lose money? But it's not like, it's not something that, I'm going to be sad about if I it goes to zero. And so that's why I'm willing to let this loyal ride out and see what happens. Yeah. You never know. Cuz mm. supposedly they're coming out, you know, with a Dex to compete against Uniswap, which let me tell you that's not going to work. They can try all they want and it's not going to be in the 2 weeks that he's trying to say it's going to take no. unless they already have it done or they just literally cloned. There's no um, way it's they've already had it done. No way. No. No, They're, so go ahead. No, I was just going to say, so like, honestly, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I, I think he's trying to save face, honestly. Mm. Too late. Mm. Yeah. Too late. Uh, honestly, but <laughs> I'm, and I'm with you on that too, yeah. Holly. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully people don't get wrecked, but I just think every time. Oh, people have gotten like, wrecked. Well, I know they have, but. Maybe there'll be a miracle and it'll pump a thousand percent. I don't know. Do but people are going to have to buy in for that to happen. Two things. When he's told BitBoy that, or he announced on Twitter that BitBoy was going to be in charge of the liquidity, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> and then, two, every yeah. time this happens, it makes it gives crypto a bad name. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I've been following CrowSwap for a long time. And Hank and his like team have that. been putting together a, a uh, exchange. Yep. And they wrote it from the ground up and they didn't yep. fork off of anything and it has taken them over a year and a, a year. half yeah, yeah. Yeah. and That's... he'll be the first one to tell you that with the hours that they put into it the only way they could have sped it up was, was with more money more resources but it is the smoothest yeah. if somebody's going to compete with Uniswap uh watch out for that one that, but there's no a, way ben.eth is going yeah, that's to that's our favorite one we always say well that. but that's why it's, when somebody like ben makes his claim there's like there's no way i have watched from the sidelines yeah. for a year and a half how somebody was doing it the right way yes and and this my opinion okay but the right way and it takes time yeah and funds but 
for him to have a, 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 an exchange out in two weeks? No, it, and, I wouldn't touch it. And yeah, and they, I wouldn't connect my wall to it. Like you said, you can tell they're working at it, and they don't overhype it. Yeah. yeah, they just are working at it. And one day it's going to explode. Yes, that's my thought process. No, yeah. not financial advice, but I'm right. telling you, to have the example of it being done the right way, and to see somebody try to fast track it in two weeks. Yeah. You can connect. I'll connect your wallet to it, <laughs> but I put mine on it. <laughs> wow. Ditto. <laughs>